Many of us live on only four functions, play, stop, pause, and rewind. Let me illustrate this with a story. A man who was privileged to purchase a video player, slash recorder, for his family. As he arrived with his purchase, he eagerly anticipated the exciting process of installing this wonder of technology. His children joined him as he sat on the floor of his living room, opened this new treasure for his home. He opened the carton and dislodged the machine from its stereo foam packing, ignoring the manual booklet that fell to the floor beside him. Then using basic knowledge he had obtained from others who he had observed installing similar machines, he proceeded to show his skills and wisdom. After connecting a few wires and turning a few switches, he was ready to test his expertise. He took a video cassette, placed it in the machine, turned on the television and bingo, play. As the picture appeared on the screen, he felt a sense of pride and personal accomplishment. Turning to his son and daughter, he said, there it is, we are in business. They sat and watched for a while. Then something occurred that changed his life. Then something occurred that changed his life forever. The inquisitive nature of his son began to work. He drew close at the video machine, pointed to the row of 12 buttons and asked, What are they for daddy? In his attempt to show his fatherly wisdom and adult advantage in knowledge, he leaned forward and examined the buttons. He quickly realized that he was unable to explain any of the functions indicated by the buttons except to those of pause, rewind, stop and play. He found himself exposing his ignorance to his young children. He learned a lesson that day that would become a major pillar in his life since he had ignored the manufacturer's money and refused to read and follow the instructions. As many of us still do today, he was unable to utilize, maximize and fully appreciate the full potential of the product. He was settling for less than the full capacity. He was a victim of living according to the standards and observation of others. In essence, the performance of the product was restricted by the limitation his ignorance had placed on its functions. This limitation of performance can also be extended to those who read the manufacturer's manual but refuse to use the functions inherent in the construction of the product. Therefore, they never experience the full potential of the machine. They only desire to experience the minimum. In reality, this experience perfectly describes the lives of most of the 7.8 billion people on the planet Earth. Men live on only four functions, play, stop, pause, and rewind. Day after day, they go to jobs they hate, stop to rest in homes they despise, pause long enough to vent for their frustration, and then play the games people play, pretending to be happy. What a tragedy. They never experience the joy of the other functions of their lives, such as developing and refining their skills, fulfilling their God-given destiny, capturing their purpose for life, making long-range plans expanding their knowledge base, increasing their exposure through travel, and exploring limits of their gifts, talents, and abilities. They have chosen to accept the fate of millions who have resigned themselves to a normal life with normal activities in the company of normal people, striving for normal goals at a normal pace with normal motivation, with normal education taught by normal teachers who give normal grades and live in normal homes, with normal families living a normal heritage, for their normal children, who bury them in a normal grave. What a normal tragedy. I'm convinced that our Creator never intended for us to be normal. That is to get lost in the crowd of the norm. This is evidenced by the fact that the 7.8 billion people on, the, on this planet, no two individuals are alike. Their fingerprints, genetic code, chromosome combinations are all distinct and unique. In reality, God created all people to be originals, but will continue to become copies of others. Too often we are so preoccupied with trying to fit in that we never stand out. You are designed to be distinctive, special, irreplaceable, and unique. So refuse to be normal. Go beyond average. Do not strive to be accepted rather than strive to be yourself. Shun the minimum. Pursue the maximum. Utilize all your functions. Maximize yourself. Use yourself up for the glory of your creator. Live life with all your might. Give it all you have. Do it until there's nothing left to do, because you have become all you were created to be, done all you are designed to do, and given all you are sent to give. Be satisfied with nothing less than your best. If you are new here, please, it will mean so much to us if you subscribe to be part of this family for innovative ideas and practical insights on helping you discover your own purpose in life.
My name is Msingus George from I Sustainable Innovations where we help you design your life and live your making. If something has resonated with you, leave it in the comment box below. It may inspire someone else. My God bless you.